Hi Kathy, my name is Barak Dide. Can you please help me with this pedigree diagram? Or Daltonism is a sex-linked disorder caused by a recessive allele, X with a little d. Okay, remember I told you, anything that's recessive will always have lowercase. If it is sex-linked, you've got to remember it sits on either the XX chromosome of the female or the XY chromosome of the male. The problem is that if it sits on the X chromosome of the female and we have one of these has the recessive trait and the other one has the dominant trait, we find it will mask the heterozygous state. But the male, shame, if he has the, the, the recessive gene, he is going to be colorblind. It's as simple as that. And that's why we end up with more males being colorblind than females. Alrighty, so let's look at this diagram below. The inheritance of the disorder in a family. Now, something you have to remember, and, and learners generally battle with a pedigree diagram, is that this is the first generation, then you get the next one, and every line is going to be a different generation. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at what we've got. So, here is our key. If it's white, they're colorblind. And if it's square, it's a male, and if it's circular, it's a female. So, Tuli and this chap have babies, and they have a lot of babies. Wow. I don't know how they actually afford them in this day and age. I don't even know how people afford any kids in this day and age. I'm so glad mine are grown up. So, Linda is definitely colorblind, which means Linda must be X little d, X little d. So, she's got both recessive alleles. Senzo, poor little guy, he's sitting with X uh, uh, um, recessive and Y. His daddy, we know, is a colorblind male. So daddy is X little d, or recessive trait, and Y. Now, how did Linda come about unless mommy, Tuli, also had the recessive gene? But, I mean the recessive allele. But, look, Tuli is not infected. She's a normal female, which means she must have the dominant allele as well. And that means that Molly, she can't be anything other because she would have got this recessive allele from her dad because if she got the Y, she'd be a male. She's not a male, she's a female, which means if she got that D from her dad, then it means she must have got the, the, the dominant trait or dominant allele from her mom. So Molly is definitely capital D, small d. Tuli is definitely capital D, small d. And here, in this heterozygous state, we're looking at complete dominance. And remember, I've said to you that when we have complete dominance, in the heterozygous state, the dominant allele masks, it masks that recessive allele, so you can't see it in the phenotypic state. Okay, now that we know who's who in the zoo here, let's see. They want to know the phenotype of Senzo. Well, the phenotype, what are we physically going to see with Senzo? He is going to be a colour-blind male. Okay, he's a colour-blind male. Done. Okay, that, now they want the genotype of Tuli. So we go back here. I can't remember who was Tuli. Tuli's the mom. Okay, she's going to be capital D, small d. So dominant allele, recessive allele. So X, D, X, D. And you'll notice you write the dominant allele first if they are both available or present. All right, now they say explain how Linda inherited color blindness. So Linda is, that's, that's what her alleles look like. So recessive, recessive. Okay, she inherited one recessive from mother and one recessive allele from father. Okay, 
So that's a recessive allele and that's a recessive allele. And she ends up with DD and she ends up being colorblind. So and we know she's colorblind because they've told us that. Okay, explain why there are generally more males than females with color blindness. I mean, people really, you know, how many X chromosomes do girls have? <laughs> Two. How many do guys have? One. So we say males have one X chromosome. Okay. If this X chromosome, all right, um, has, oh, carries, carries is a better word than has, carries the recessive allele XD, then he will be colorblind. It's as simple as that. He's only got a Y. So the, if that X happens to be carrying that recessive allele, he's colorblind. Done. Females have two X chromosomes. All right. So um, if one carries the uh, dominant X, uh, sorry, 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 XD allele and the other, the recessive allele, the dominant allele will mask the XD allele. Okay, so if both X chromosomes carry the recessive, yeah, yeah, where's my line here? Recessive alleles, then she will be colorblind. So she must have both recessive, like, what was the little girl's name? Let's just quickly check here. Linda. Okay, then she'll be like Linda. Righty. Molly married a normal male. Molly, Molly, Molly. Oh, Molly was the heterozygous. Um, use a genetic cross to show the possible genotypes and phenotypes of their children. Now, please watch how I do this. It's very important. First thing you're going to do is P1. Uh, P1. Because what P1 does is, I'm really trying to hurry here. P1 gives you half a mark. Okay, then you write the phenotype. Wait, right, guys, I don't have time to write all of this out, but we'll have a normal male or female times a normal male. Okay, we do the genotype. And what's the genotype going to be? It's going to be a normal female. Because remember, this is Molly. She's normal, but she's carrying that recessive trait. Times the normal male is going to be X, capital D, and Y. Okay. Now we have meiosis and we have our gametes. So there are our gametes. And we're going to have X, D, X, D, and our little chap. So X, capital D, X, capital D, X, capital D. Oh, sorry, sorry, this is a X, small d. How can I miss that? And then X, capital D, Y, and X, little d, Y. So this is fertilization. So you get a half for that, you get a half for that, you get one for that, you get one for that, and you get the genotypes. Now, 
I mean, how easy is this? And then we go, let's take this up a little bit. Man, we go F1. So the first filial generation, your phenotype, because our genotypes are there. They're there, 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 and there. So the phenotype is going to be two out of four chances that we're going to have a normal female. We're going to have one out of four that we're going to have a normal male. All right? And we're going to have one out of four that we are going to have a color blind male. Okay. And every time reproduction takes place, we are going to have that and that and that and that with the combinations. You've got to remember that people, you have um, uh, for, for random assortment of the chromosomes during metaphase. We have um, during prophase, we have uh, um, the crossing over. We have fertilization, which is random. We have random mating. All of that is going to give us variation. And every single time, we are going to have two lots of chromosomes from the mother and two lots of chromosomes from the dad. So every time, there's a one in four chance of something happening.